Hello, my name is Will Carmack. Super happy to be here. The tip I'll be giving you today is how to make a 3D camera in After Effects look like it has a handheld look. Because if you look really quick at this um, parallax I shot in the Maldives, you can see that this camera movement is kind of nice. It goes from point A to point B. We can make this look way more dynamic and cool if the camera is actually moving. So here's how you do that in After Effects. So all you have to do is go to the camera. So let's click on the camera layer, drop down, like let's twirl it down so we can see all the transform options. And point of interest is what we wanna look at. Now, first of all, before we animate the point of interest, we need to change it just a little bit. The third number in point of interest, let's crank that the frick up. If you see on the top down monitor, you can see that the anchor point, uh, point of interest is just going really far into the scene. And that's because we're creating a point in which the camera will move on all three axes. And when it's really close to your camera, it just, your camera is moving so crazy, it's so ugly. So we crank the point of interest out really far. I think that's usually how far I like to keep it. Now let's alt click on point of interest. So you're holding down the alt button and clicking on point of interest, which allows us to write in an expression, which is just like coding in After Effects. We'll type in wiggle, parentheses, one comma 100 and hit enter. Let's see what that looks like. Look at that. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but this is 10 million times better than without having a wiggle expression on it. I'll play them side by side for you so you can see like the little bit of difference. Quick bonus tip, because this wiggle expression is randomized, anytime you delete or add a new layer, the wiggle readjusts, which means if you're ever at a point where you're exporting layers individually, the wiggle's actually gonna be different on every layer, which is bad. It doesn't give us a lot of flexibility. So to give us flexibility, if we right click on the point of interest, which has this expression on it, go to keyframe assistant, and then convert expression to keyframes, then we never have to worry about the randomized wiggle again. If you see here, now every single frame has a point of interest keyframe on it. So yeah, that is my uh, tip I wish I knew when I first started After Effects. You can animate the camera inside After Effects to actually have a, a handheld look instead of downloading some random plugin after the fact and it just like ruins how a camera should actually look. You know what I mean? And all of this explosive goodness is brought to you by Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you want to run a successful business, you have to sign up for Squarespace. They allow you to make an online store. So if you have a product, you can sell it there. You make tables, like epoxy resin, those pretty ones, put it on Squarespace. They make it incredibly easy too because they're award-winning designer templates. I mean, these are gorgeous. Look at these bags. Look at these jewelry. It's presented so professionally, I, I kind of want to buy it. Which leads me to my next amazing point about Squarespace. They do custom merch. They'll even ship it for you and handle the inventory. So if you ever wanted to create a connection with your audience by making physical products, you have to do it with Squarespace. And it's all custom merch. So from the design process to shipping and handling, they can handle all of it. And lastly, if you're a content creator and you want to maybe monetize on some extra bonus content, well, Squarespace has member only areas. You can put your exclusive bonus content that won't be shared on any of your public profiles in the members areas. So you can start monetizing in your audience for them to come pay to see your bonus content. Your fans will love it, they'll get extra stuff, you'll get extra spending money, and I'll be really happy for you. <laughs> so if all this sounds amazing, which it is, go to squarespace.com slash willcarmack to get 10% off your first website or domain. I really hope you like this tutorial. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.